In India, there are a few areas where Indians are not allowed. These areas are generally designated for the minority groups that are not considered part of Indian culture. These areas can include the Kashmir region, the Northeast region, and the areas around Mumbai and Chennai. It is important to remember that tourists are still allowed in even though these areas are off limits to Indians. However, tourists should be aware of the prohibition and restrictions. They should not venture into these areas without prior authorization. Number 6. Red Lollipop Hostel Red Lollipop Hostel in Chennai is a well-known budget hostel located in the Nungabakam area. It's recognized for its lively ambiance and social atmosphere, making it a favorite among budget travelers and backpackers. The hostel offers dormitory-style accommodations with shared facilities. Guests appreciate its cleanliness, helpful staff, and the opportunity to meet fellow travelers. In Chennai, Tamil Nadu, Red Lollipop Hostel has a no Indian policy. They do not cater to Indian tourists. This hostel, an international standard hotel, is only for foreigners. They allow you to check in only after you present your passport and can choose from mixed hostels, ladies' hostels, or inexpensive twin rooms. Not only this, but Red Lollipop Hostel also claims to be one of the only hotels in Chennai that exclusively caters to first-time visitors to India. Number 5 Foreigners Only Beaches in Goa Goa located on the southwest coast of India, boasts a coastline stretching along the Arabian Sea. Its beaches are diverse, offering something for every type of traveler. You'll find a mix of lively and tranquil beaches, each with its unique charm. Whether you seek vibrant nightlife, water sports, or a peaceful retreat, Goa's beaches cater to a variety of preferences. The sandy shores, coconut palms, and beach shacks contribute to the laid-back tropical atmosphere that defines the Goan coastal experience. Keep in mind that the popularity and atmosphere of each beach can vary, so exploring different ones allows you to discover the diversity that makes Goa's coastline so appealing. Heaven for water people, many residents and visitors, visit Goa every year. However, several beaches in Goa are solely open to international visitors. The ban is in place to safeguard tourists wearing bikinis and swimwear from unwanted attention. Indians are not allowed to stay in the famed shacks on Arambal Beach, and there are few Indians on Injuna Beach. Locals believe that they are shielding them from the general public's view. Number 4 Free Kasal Cafe, Kasal. India boasts a vibrant and diverse cafe culture, reflecting the country's rich history, cultural blend, and evolving preferences. In major cities and popular tourist destinations, you can find cafes ranging from traditional tea stalls to modern, trendy spaces. However, this cafe is in Kasal, the town of Himachal, in the Kulu area, is one more hotel in India where Indians are not permitted. It stood out as truly newsworthy when the restaurant supervisor denied giving menu cards to visitors of Indian origin. At the same time, the proprietor merrily welcomed and served individuals from Israel. There have been different occurrences where Indians were refused any assistance. Number 3 Broadlands Hotel, Chennai Broadlands Hotel in Chennai is a well-known establishment. It is located in the heart of the city, near Mount Road, Anna Salai. The hotel is recognized for its heritage charm and has been in operation for several decades. Broadlands Hotel offers comfortable accommodation, dining facilities, and is known for its central location, making it convenient for both business and leisure travelers. As indicated by a 2010 report by the primary day-to-day, this curious British-style property in Chennai permitted section is just based on unfamiliar international ids. Nonetheless, according to the new Booking.com surveys, they permit many Indians, however, the more significant part of their visitors is still from foreign nations. One of the Indians who posted his survey in February 2020 even cited that the staff is unresponsive to the Indian customers. He was at first denied a room at the inn for an evening. The staff just consented that he had a web-based booking. Number 2 Sakura Ryokan Restaurant, Ahmedabad. Indian restaurants offer a diverse and flavorful culinary experience. They are known for their rich variety of dishes, bold spices, and aromatic flavors. From casual eateries to upscale fine dining establishments, Indian restaurants cater to a broad range of preferences. Vegetarian options are often abundant, and bread varieties, such as naan and roti, complement main dishes. Tandoor cooking, diverse chutneys, and a wide array of desserts contribute to the unique and vibrant tapestry of Indian cuisine. However there are Indian-based foreign restaurants, 
Sakura Ryokan is a Japanese restaurant in Ahmedabad with a sign at the entrance that says, Indians are not allowed. The restaurant's owner claims that the staff cannot speak Hindi or English and doesn't feel comfortable serving Indian customers. The owner also says that he wants to focus on providing exemplary service to Japanese customers. Number 1 Russian Colony, Kudankulam Kudankulam is known for its nuclear power plant rather than a Russian colony. The Kudankulam nuclear power plant is a significant facility in the area. And Kudankulam is primarily known for the Kudankulam nuclear power plant, a collaborative project between India and Russia. The Russian colony in Kudankulam is one of the six places in India where Indians are not allowed. The Russians established this colony in the 1800s as a strategic outpost to keep an eye on British activity in the region. The Russians were forced to abandon the colony in the 1940s, and it has been abandoned ever since. Today, it is a popular tourist destination for those looking for an off-the-beaten-path adventure. However, Indian citizens are not allowed inside the colony without special permission from the Russian embassy. India is a vast and diverse country with many different cultures, religions, and customs. While there are many places where Indians are welcomed with open arms, there are also a few places in India where Indians are not allowed. These places have stringent rules about who is allowed to enter and why. Whether it's because of the culture or the religion, these places are off-limits to Indians.